What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. What's up? Uh, Mikey and I are in the same room. See that? Look did at we that. trick you? Look we like we're in two different rooms. It really does look you. like that. Uh, guys, we just did an interview with Eugenia Yuan and Sherman Augustus. Yes. So if you haven't gone and seen that, it's somewhere on the channel. Go look at that. It was a, and it was was and They were amazing. Was awesome. We had a fun time. They answered community questions. It was fantastic. Yeah. But right now, Mike, we're talking about Into the Badlands, Episode 14, Curse of the Red rain damn bro it's it's interesting i think the biggest thing that i had questions about after is the fact that we did we see another part of this gift did we see yeah you know with cressida's eyes turning red and it's like she casted the spell on herself besides the fact that she was very comfortable in the cell um yeah it's just we we see um maybe a different side of um, some kind of it's gift. yet like you're saying yet another more questions another of, manifestation yeah. of this thing but yeah. the besides that mm. we'll get back to that in a second she used that gift and killed Lydia I didn't see that coming I didn't see it coming either yeah I didn't see it coming either I mean she had every tool that she seemed um, dude to do whatever. A spell she had to do. How, right? how upset were you, man? I uh, know it's tough. I mean, and if you watch the uh, the interview with Sherman and and Eugenia, we asked Sherman that that question: how it is about shooting that scene, and and how uh, upset he was, and how upset she was about. Um, yeah, you know, it's a Lydia very good being story. Killed, you gotta, go, gotta go watch that. Yeah, you gotta check it out. But yeah, no, overall, um, we saw some some cool fighting shots, and we saw Crescent and and that was you know that was amazing. That that you know a lot of a lot of throwbacks. You know, like Sherman said in the interview again, he's like a lot of like Shaw, Shaw movie stuff. And, yeah. you know, just, you know, Lydia's a badass. And I, w- I was upset because I was like, she's going to, I was like, no, she's going to be the next Baron. You know, I was so happy when Minerva was like, you know what? You're going to be the one to run this That's thing. huge. I mean, that's you know? huge. With with Minerva herself, she's pregnant. Um, there you go. There's another, another you know, bomb. You're seeing such a transformation. I think it, it, it gives you a callback of what she really learned with the master and the in these reflections in the mirror chamber and all this kind of stuff. She's holding Henry. She she talks about uh, how long it's been since she did that. The smell of babies, all these kind of yeah. things. So it's and and for her for for Minerva to give up the power, I think is probably one of the biggest um, character changes and and develop of yeah from where she began to where she is now. It's. For her to give up the power and and say that Lydia, you're the one that should be running. Well, you know, this. she she after all the fighting, all of the conquering, mm-hmm. you know, like she like she said it herself to to Cressida. She's like, unlike you know Pilgrim, I took this with my skill in my blade. You know yeah. what I mean? And you know, I think she's like, I think maybe I don't need to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I can finally. I, I, I know with Lydia, I can have what I want for the Badlands, and I'll still get the B in. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so yeah. So it's 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 a very sad thing. I can't believe that 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 she's gone. You know, and it's, you know, and and all this stuff. So staying on this Cressida thing, they're they're locked up. So we, you know, <laughs> there is one thing that's a little sticking point with Mike right. and I, and you know, it, 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 it harkens back to when when. MK was left in that room. That's yeah. really just a room that you can't leave. Yes, yeah, it's it's not like right? you're sitting. He in had the... opium. Yeah, he had he had was girls. girls. He had whatever he wanted in the room. And Cressida did the same thing. They just let her. Yeah. But you know what? So I, at first I was like, why would you give her all her Anything, stuff? She yeah. just created blood rain. Yeah. You know, like why would you do that? But then you know, so that was a criticism I had of this, of, of this episode. Like, why would you do that? You know, you guys are what the hell are you doing? Yeah. But think about it. They're not trying to. Yeah, they're they're basically the whole purpose of, of you know the the what happened later in the episode. We'll get to this was the catalyst, obviously. Give mm-hmm. me back Cressida. Give me back you know mm-hmm. my seer or whatever. He, I forget what he calls her. My what do you call her? Um, uh, well, I'm sorry. Guys, oh I'm shit! Yeah, I, I don't want to. But see anyway, you. <laughs> yeah, he says give her back. Um, sorceress. Oh come on! You guys are yelling at us. I know. Right. Screaming at us. Anyway, they they didn't want to like. It wasn't like a cruel. We're not. It wasn't. It was only until after that that they went. And they put her in the brig. Yeah. So they gave her like, okay, fine. We're gonna hold you. 
Because guess what? You're not going to come here and do this shit to mm-hmm. us. You're not going to talk mm-hmm. shit to us and expect nothing. We're not impotent. Like, we will do this to you. So, yeah. So, so when you think about it like that, it's like, all right, I get it. I yeah. get it, you know? Yeah. Or did she have those things in her robes? Because she's wearing she a lot must, of robes, I mean, bro. yeah. She definitely, uh, even when Lydia was entering the room, you kind of thought like, she had, it's almost like, um, obviously she doesn't, like, like she could easily have hidden a gun or something, or just like, bow, you know? She definitely, she might have, a, like, a little cookbook with her or something at all times. Yeah, so right, right, It was right. crazy. I mean, the fight, the the, the battle um, plan against Pilgrim was really fantastic. Um Unfortunately, Pilgrim's not dead, uh, and the, the the blast, the time bomb truck, and and the the cannon, the arrow cannon, and all this kind of stuff was great. They were prepared. Um, so I, I I mean I I've got some thoughts about that, and yeah. it's like Pilgrim. Now now we're on we're on that subject. Pilgrim was super rash, dude, and super mm-hmm. overconfident. In like he's like they have crested. Oh, let's go. MK was like, dude, dude, they're not ready. They need to, like, train and whatnot. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, nah, we're going. Yeah. And look what happened. Like, like, per- but, like, again, like, that's that's part, that's good storytelling. It's like, that's a good character flaw. Like, you have this person, he's fighting his own, his own demon as far as he's losing, not losing his power, but he's still weak. He's yeah. coughing up blood. Like, yeah. it took a lot out of him. Now is not a time to go and, 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 and show your power. You know, he's not listening to MK, who who is now his tr- most trusted son. He's not listening to him. And you went and you took people that weren't ready to fight into a fight that against these people are nuts. <laughs> these yeah. barons are crazy. Yeah. Clippers, their yeah. army, like, you, these aren't, like, that's what I'm saying. Pilgrim doesn't understand. This is a really great example of how Pilgrim doesn't understand the Badlands. You're an outsider pilgrim. You don't understand how this works. You think you're going to come to the Badlands and be like, I'm taking this, I'm doing that. You don't know how this works. Like, they've been fighting longer than you've been alive, bro. Like, you don't understand. Like, they are smarter than you that like that. And this whole thing proved that. It, I mean, it, I, I see your point too, but I mean, obviously... Our characters, the Barons, Gaius, and that's and, my and point. They, yeah, they they never really experienced fighting as many dark ones. No, as, no, but they but they know fighting. They, they know still, strategy still, and and yeah, fighting. That's true. That's so true. it was it was a great. I guess it was it was a fantastic matchup. It was like nothing, nothing. Pilgrim, MK, you all got what you deserved. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, for a second there, I thought maybe uh, MK was going to be a goner, but obviously in the end of that's the... That's crazy. I, yeah, I, kinda, all, I love it, guys. He's I love all it. Up, I love so. that. I love that they gave that to his character mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. You know? Damn it. It's like, this really... Yeah. You, could see the, you could see the leads for the next season. Like, you could see... Because that would have been a fantastic... Whatever happens at the end of this season, we don't know yet, but that would have been th- th- carried forward. If MK doesn't die, Yeah. that would have been like a, a... You know, that's another thing, like... A redemption yeah. thing for him or look what look what this got me now i'm this and i know it's wrong anyway point is like it could have been something in the future but yeah no i mean listen mk also lied to that one the one um sleeper um remember remember when tilda and and nix were scouting uh and you see good point i wanted to go there and you yeah. see mk and the other guy i don't know his his name but uh, he lied about killing the master and he says, I looked her right in the eye. But meanwhile, he stabbed her stabbed from the back. Stabbed her in the back, yeah. So, yeah, MK is definitely a guy that... that he doesn't have a shit to get. Got, yeah, yeah, he's... He got what he deserved. Um, yeah, and the wire work that we saw, too, in that battle with the Widow, we mentioned that yeah. um, in the interview, was was fantastic. And just to see that, that old kind of technology, like the cannon thing, it kind of like... Oh my God! That you know was the so arrow sick. cannon, and yeah, um, the the time bomb, even like the digit, the digitized mm-hmm. numbers. That's that. They had that's on that the Fallout bomb. looking time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like so game, right? It was. Uh, it's cool to see some. As we never really seen that kind of stuff. No, know? It, that's what I'm saying. It was fant- the, even the strategy alone, dude. When they, dude, they. They shot the, the crossbows with the with the ropes, and she yeah. just like jumps off, like yeah. totally planned. She's like, "All right, I'm probably gonna have to jump off this and thing." And she just does the backstroke slide. Yeah, thing here she, straight down. Like, just, that was so dope. I wonder yeah. if they were like, "Yo, we gotta try this thing out." Like that was really, yeah. really, really cool. And um, just really quick, going back to MK and and Tilda, and you know Nix. You know, Nix is about to take out MK. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Yo, I'm gonna mm-hmm. finish this." He's an yeah. a hole. I'm gonna finish this, and she's like, "No, no, no, no!" Like. 
Tilda's still pining for that kid, man. I, 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 don't, I think it's... But I think she was right in what she said about um, not giving up their location and all this kind of Yeah, whatever. I really think it's more of the fact that she didn't want to hurt MK. Yeah. I, I think mean, she still she feels for him, you know? I think... Change, and, and maybe we will see a right, redemption she's, she's, maybe, thing with yeah. MK eventually, but... Hoping for a redemption story for him. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, what I, else we got? We got, a, I mean, we got a lot of... Um, like I said earlier, we got a lot of stuff with with, with Azra. We've been getting all these awesome questions and stuff. We've seen more with with um, uh, Kanan's agenda and wh- where is she really leading Baji and right. So so I had an inkling that she wasn't going to take him where they wanted to go. Yeah. And then she shows up and brings him to the beach, and he's like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah. She's like, "Listen, we got to go." And he's like, "Hold on, I have people back there, my son." Yeah. And he, and she's like, "Yeah, they're all dead." Yeah, they they're, they're probably dead. Yeah, they're uh, most likely dead, she says. <laughs> so, yeah. So, well, uh, I mean, and, and the Baji stuff with, with Sonny, too, and that, like, dude, you just got to listen to me. That was a um, fantastic very scene. Very serious, but it, it was still the way Baji delivers it is uh, kind of gives you that com- comedy. I mean, we say comic relief. I mean, we probably should find a better phrase to say because well, he's not just He brings that. a levity. He brings yeah. a levity to it. So he, it was um, raises... a very serious conversation. Uh, it was, but dude. Yeah. It was funny because Sonny was e- easily able to say, I'm sorry. Well, he, he realized, but that's the point. Like, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Because that's yeah. like, that, again, that's like what, what a friend or a brother would say to one another. Like, if you and I are having an argument mm-hmm. and, and we're sitting here going, and we've had plenty of, we've had plenty of arguments as to, as to the, the show and stuff yeah. like that. Like, you know, but that's the thing. You, you, when you're talking to someone, you're like, but you don't, you don't this and you don't that. And I said <laughs> this and this and that. And it was like. Yeah, it's like real. It's real dialogue. That's that's again. I love Walking Dead, but again, that's Walking Dead is this canned dialogue, measured out and given. Dialogue in the show is whatever. But I will say this: hmm. no, not whatever. The dialogue in the show is real. Is real, and I like it. The women in this this show, the ladies in this episode, killed it. Yeah, like it was. It was a very. Um, you know, woman centric show. Those, you know, Minerva, Lydia, Kanan, you know what I mean? And then Baji thrown in there for a little extra measure. Little you know fun. what I'm saying? Cressida. Yeah. They killed it this episode. It mm-hmm. was their episode. You know what I'm saying? Not that there's a got not that there's a delineation, I'm just saying. Those characters were the stars of the show. The men took a step back, you know? And um I loved it. I loved it. This was this was every episode has been its own thing and it's given us more and more like you said earlier gives us more questions mm-hmm. answers things but gives us more questions yeah yeah no the red eye thing really freaked me out i mean it looked insane uh but to, to is is this something that she always has does pilgrim does pilgrim know she has this ability i, I don't i don't i mean it's a gift is is there is it like a yin yin and the yang kind of a thing or I, i'm I i'm kind of interested in seeing and learning more about that because we never We've never seen this, obviously, from her. No, so no. I'm just wondering how much of this has happened before off screen that we didn't see. Has has Cressida done this before? Does mm-hmm. Pilgrim know her abilities? Because listen, it's definitely a gift. She was moving, kicking ass, swinging. Do, you know, right. we've never seen that from from Cressida. Right. So it's definitely a height. It's it's definitely a gift, um, and I'm excited to see what else we got with with that. I have a theory um, about it, though. I think that. I think yes, she's always had it. Pilgrim does know. That's why. Yeah. Um, what is the word he used? Sorry, guys. You guys, I know you guys are screaming. Just put it in the. Listen, somebody write yeah. a comment with just what he calls her. I know what I, his I mean. Not I'm, his it's seat. like just the, put it. Just do it like twenty <laughs> times. If it says it's spam, I'll approve it. Just I. I can't remember. It's really annoying me right now. Give me back my seamstress my seer not my, my seamstress no my... <laughs> anyway know, it's point there is, and i don't want to just sit here just point is thinking about point is she 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 goes into those trances remember when she was writing showing sunny's tattoos mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when they when they hook her up no pun intended yeah and she does the and she and, and you know her clairvoyance it's all that is her gift well like, she tells minerva that that's right. how she kind well, of well also right that. she says she has that but but the thing is too we'll get to that in a second um we don't want to forget that little tidbit right um she, she, oh no, I lost the up. But yeah, she, she, I believe she is, she's always had it. And I believe that the gift manifests. I think it depends on the, one, the type of person you are mm. and how you use it. We can see that when Nix and Cass are in MK and now um, uh, Pilgrim are using it 
for bad, the dark side of the force, essentially, yeah. it destroys them. The master, um, Ankara, uh, you know, Baji, when they use it, it's enhancing life. It's helping. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think this is another twisted version of the gift. Yeah. You know, and that's and it's a perversion of she's she's figured out she probably maybe already had this some type of energy or clairvoyance or something and then with this gift or maybe got it with it i don't know the point is is it's a perversion she's she's perverted this gift in a different Mm -hmm. way now than pilgrim is yeah you know so um so uh minerva's baby who is it who's the daddy i mean it's gaius gaius it's gaius it's gaius yeah it was i mean it's i said it already it's just sweet to see a different side of minerva um i like their scenes too and he was like what it's like, why are you being such an a hole to me? He's like, yeah. you're being so cold to me. Yeah, you know, it's why you gotta be so cold, baby. Well, he didn't tell her the truth. I mean, that I mean, he didn't tell her. Uh, she didn't tell him. I right. should say. Yeah. So I mean, how how Minerva, different would that? Yeah, that would <laughs> listen. You're there, you're in the in the beginning of this big battle. I don't think it's she made the right decision by not saying anything to guys because that probably just would have fucked them all up. Yeah. Um. Oh, you think he? Wait, that was a good decision. You're saying. That she didn't tell him at that oh, you moment. Think, you think it was? Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm on the fence about it. I don't man. know. I mean, they're they're just about to fight uh, all yeah. these sleepers, you know, that are now awoken. The garage scene was awesome. Um, we've seen a, a throwback of all these old cars and moon, stuff like moon that. Sword and, man. Yeah, broken hearted moon, it. broken sworded moon. Um, yeah, it was a lot. That was him. dope though. Yeah. It lands right, and Gaius looks. He's like. Oh, crap. And, and then he, he throws him. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so good. There's some good. There was some good stuff. Moon on the ropes. They were all on the ropes on that one, but you know, and yeah, then and they... then Lydia dying, and you know, Moon. It was it was real sad, and it's like you know he he could have went one of two ways, you know, it could have he could have exploded right there, yeah, or it, you know instead he just you know and and it's what happens, you know that 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 that's a real reaction, you know, you just can't believe it, you just can't believe it, and he's holding her, you can't believe it, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, you know the the unfortunate thing is in in a lot of shows, not just the Badlands. Whenever you kind of get or develop a relationship, a new new thing, um, that's usually like you're 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 done. Yeah. Um, we've yeah. seen that. I mean, we've we've been seeing the development of Lydia and Moon's relationship yeah. for a little while now, but um, it didn't get to blossom or bloom into something. I know it's and, always and, been and fighting. It, it would have been nice because they would have raised. So what will happen now raised, with you know? <laughs> what will happen with um. Gaius and and the widow Minerva, and we'll see if if that also takes place in their relationship where there's something building. Now, let me and ask you this: one of them, one of them, or maybe both of them. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> do you think? Do you think she's gonna fight? She's got to fight, right? Min- yeah. The, oh, of course. She's not gonna not fight. Yeah, I mean, she's already she fought. She knows she knew she was pregnant. She was she fighting fought. Pilgrim. Yeah. Uh, which was awesome. She said she called him a mama's boy. You gotta so find me good. with a gift. That's so good. And he uh, was all not. mad and stuff. Yeah, that's what pissed. I'm saying. Like he's just he's a bull yeah. and, and he's very easily taunted. He's he wasn't he wasn't smart this episode. Mm-hmm. And I but I loved it though. I love that they were like he just went in rage mode. Yeah. And it's like, look what you're dealing with. Yes, he's a monster and he's a he's a tornado, he's a hurricane, but you you do have an advantage. There is a way to beat him. You can use it against him, and that's you know, I mean, they didn't know that per se, but you know, now they know. I think now they know. Now they know they can use it against him. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, he took a, he took this serious blast from this truck bomb thing. So he was right above it, dude. I was surprised. Like that whole scene, I'm like, I'd stay on, stay on the platform, stay on the platform, stay on the platform, yeah. because they had the time yeah. ticking down and stuff like that. So I actually didn't think that he was going to get caught so directly that he did. But, yeah. I mean, regardless, he survives. I thought he was going to do some kind of jump or jump after the widow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sees her escaping. Um, I was kind of surprised that he just kind of stood there. Uh, and he looked down, too, and he looked down at the But you got to figure that's happening so fast at that time. Yeah. I thought the same thing, like, you, you know, but what's he going to do, like... She used the, she used a, a neat way to get down. What's he gonna do? Just throw himself off? Oh, he 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 got himself up, but he also went like three quarters of the way up and then did a nice little yeah. spin move up there. Yeah. But there's only so much you can do, you know. And plus, he you know you drain. He's he had mm-hmm. the power on and off and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's drained. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I don't know. I think that'll do it. That, yeah. I think that's if we did if we missed anything, obviously you let I'm us trying know. Trying to think in the quick. I mean, we really didn't see much uh, besides the the scene we talked about with Baji. And I mean, there was only a little bit of talking on their journey to. Um, he, you know, Baji was like, "I'm right." Yeah, you're wrong. I'm right. Yeah. She's gonna Look, take. I us have somewhere. this map, and and I don't see. Um, I forgot the, the route she named or whatever. But yeah, well, the so, dragons 
tooth co- tooth gorge or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah, very good. You I know, interesting. Uh, I'll tell you a quick little tidbit. Uh, go watch the interview with Eugenia and and Sherman. But what's interesting is that they told us, uh, you know, she told us on that the day they shot that there was a seal, and I think she said yeah. they named him Charlie, and he was in the background. He's poking up and he, he, yeah. off the shore and stuff out out of the water. So they had to digitally remove him from the scene. So that was a, that was a fun little. A fun fact that she gave yeah. us about about that scene because we asked we asked her about you know that little bit that little betrayal and and, and everything in her in that scene so go 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 look at that go watch that because it's a fantastic it's yeah, a fa- it awesome. we had a fantastic chat yeah, with them great. it was so good and, and Eugenia was you know just a, a wonder, wonderful wonderful to have her on she's a wonderful person and it, you know look, definitely looking forward to the rest of the season. Absolutely. And also not looking forward to it. But I know. Two episodes left, guys. Uh, let us know what you guys think, of course, in the comment section below. Um, if you know the word that we're trying to say, that, uh, that we're trying to think of. Spam for, it. Spam for it. Pilgrim I mean, and I'm, I'm annoyed now. Uh, let us know in the comment section below what you thought of the episode. You can check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social medias. Third Person. Uh, thirdpersonpod.com on Google search. Uh, you can find us easy that way, too. But we're always going on. During the episodes, we're usually tweeting mm-hmm. um, about our reaction actions to what we're seeing there uh, we try not to spoil things because it's so difficult sometimes because everybody's located in different parts of the country and so the people world. have seen it different times yeah time, so yeah, it's so, tough yeah. sometimes so i try to put like spoilers that we we try to put spoilery um if you haven't watched it yet disclaimer we're yeah. all over the place check us out at third person pod thanks again for everybody that submitted questions to for eugenia's and um sherman yeah. uh, interview we appreciate all that stuff we continuously get them stuff uh from from all you guys in the groups uh we're hoping to get a lot more interviews a lot more cast members especially after the show ends we're gonna have some 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 uh, real special special things going on uh, so yeah thanks again for supporting the channel and supporting the show we know that uh, there's a lot of campaigning going on the save the badlands stuff and, emmy for the badlands yeah save hashtag save the badlands hashtag Emmy for the Badlands, and and they 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 love it. They you know if you have if you haven't gotten that from them, yeah, yet, they're so humbled crew, by the fact that absolutely. the show has such a a loyalty factor, um, and for them to for the fans of the show to be in the group and to communicate with Sherman and communicate with Daniel a lot of so times. So don't be afraid to say hi to them. They yeah, love it. they, you know, they, they love, love you guys, love and, and and yeah, they're they're absolutely and the support. Humbled, yeah, so. over they're overwhelmed by 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 everyone yeah and, and if yeah. and if you're not in the facebook group get down below the links are down the links below. down yep. below go in there check it out and uh yeah come in the group and say hi it's that's a right. it's a it's a fantastic community we love it <laughs> so um all right so that's gonna do it thank you very much guys we really appreciate it go look at all the interviews uh if you didn't know we also do another show that's very similar to this and also ending game of thrones yes we do we do that show as well um you know we just sit here and we talk about it, so we can go talk about that. You, a lot of you, a lot of you who are fans already know that. So thank you for you know hanging out with us on those videos. Yeah, share too, that stuff. Share it. Share up. it out. Yeah, listen, share share all this. We appreciate it. You know, we don't monetize our stuff. We like to put it out there. But you know what? Uh, you want to help us out? Share this, please. Let people know. You know, and um, you know that's it. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next episode for Into the Badlands.